Before we get into the site settings and who can actually um, view your site and edit your site and how you're sharing your site, um, there are a couple other things I want to show you under the editing a page um, tab. So again, I would have gone to sites.google.com, logged in with my WCPS username and password, chosen this website from my list of websites there. I would then select the page that I want to edit. So let's say that I want to um, edit page 1A. Um, once I'm on page 1A, I just click on the pencil again because the pencil is the edit tool. It's going to pull up the same toolbar that I showed you in the last tutorial. A couple things that I thought might be helpful to you though um, are some of the Google tools themselves. So one thing that I've noticed that a lot of people are using is inserting a Google Calendar. So if you go to insert and then over to calendar it's going to pull up your whole list of calendars now if you've watched the google calendars tutorials you've learned that any classroom that you create under google classroom has a calendar set up for it um, you as a wcps employee have one um, your heart larry or whatever your five and three is uh, you can add calendars of uh, teammates and share calendars and things like that um, <clears throat> So I created a um, calendar for the Google Tutorials, Google Calendar Tutorial. So that's the one I'm going to insert in this page. So I simply collect it, select it, excuse me, and then collect and then select select down here. And then I have some choices. I can change the height if I'd like. I can change the view so that it's a week, a month, or an agenda view. Um, choose the time zone if you choose and then here I can do this the display options so do I want it to show the week month and agenda tabs show calendar etc 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 and you can choose to include the title and you can even change the title if you would like so I'm going to click save and it'll pull up um, this it looks like this when you're in editing mode. Now if I wanted to delete it, I simply hit the X and that's going to remove it. If I want to change any of the settings, I click on the wheel and it brings this page up again. So I'm going to click save and then I'm going to save my page so that you can see what it looks like. So this actually inserts the calendar itself. So anything that I add to the calendar in um, Google Calendar is going to automatically change here. So that's the cool thing about all of these Google tools. They're all connected. So if you add a document to this website and then you change it somewhere, you change it in Google Docs, it will change for you here. It's all live updated. Um, okay, so again, I'm going to go back to edit here at the top. <clears throat> I'm going, to, I'm going to go down under the calendar and I'm going to insert, go to insert drive and I'm going to select um, document. Now this is how I could insert any of the documents that I have saved in um, my Google Drive. So I'll insert the Google Tutorials Online document, that's my outline. Um, again, I can include a border or, uh, or uncheck that and then I can include the title. I could change it if I wanted to. Once I click save, it's going to insert it here. Again, this is what it looks like in editing mode, but as soon as I click save to my web page, um, then that document is actually going to live load right here. And again, any changes that I make to this document now will show up here on this web page as well as on the Google um, document itself. Another thing that's helpful under insert is if you go to YouTube. So um, this would be great if you were doing like a class website or something. Uh, if you go to Google or actually to YouTube, you can find any video um, that you could possibly want. So I'm just going to type in pandas. Uh, I had a kid do a project on pandas today, so they're fresh in my mind. Top 10 cutest panda baby videos. Um, so if I click on that, I can copy the URL. And then come back to my website and paste it in here. Save it. I could change it. He change the name here to Baby Pandas. Pandas. And now, whenever I click Save, and then click Save here, back on my website page, that video is going to automatically be inserted into my web page. So now I have the video. I have my Google Calendar, and I have my Google Document. So the great thing about using Google Sites is that it's very, very simple to use with all of your other Google to tools. Now up next, I'm going to show you some of the settings, um, how you can share with people, and the different settings that you can have on your web page.